As you can see, this is Windows subsystem for Android. Believe it or not, but I will show you how to install Google Play Store on Windows 11 and Windows 10. And yes, we will not talk about Android emulators or Android OS, because we will use Windows subsystem for Android. After watching this video, you will be able to run apps and games from the Play Store on your Windows PC. So, let's get started. Before we get started, we need to do one very important thing. The first step, we need to enable virtualization in the BIOS. As you can see, I have a laptop, the latitude 5491. So to enter the BIOS in this model, I need to turn on the laptop. Then I need to press F12 key when I see this logo. Every time I try to explain that to enter the BIOS on specific model, you need to press a specific key. For example, if I press F2 key to enter the BIOS, it is suitable for me. That doesn't mean that it will be suitable for you. So I recommend to check on the internet which key you need to press to enter the BIOS on your model. You can type the model of your laptop. If you have PC, you can just enter the model of your motherboard. Everything is very simple. Your BIOS may be different, but believe me, newer models have this option virtualization, so you just need to find it. So in my case, I need to select virtualization support. I will click here. One more time, you need to understand this is Dell Latitude BIOS, it's quite specific and it looks different. But in your BIOS, you just need to find a virtualization option. We see the mark, everything is on, enable Intel virtualization technology. So if you see that this option is unchecked, you need to check it. And after that, you need to select apply. Okay. Actually, that's all. We enabled virtualization in the BIOS and after that we can proceed to the next stage. For this we need to select exit and the laptop will restart. And finally, here we are in Windows 11. Also, it will work on Windows 10 as well. First that you need to do is to hit Win key plus R at the same time. So Win plus R. Then you need to type next. Optional. Features dot X optional features dot X press enter. Please pay attention and take your time because in this window we need to enable several important features. First of all, you need to check this feature Hyper V, click on it, then scroll down a little bit until you will see a virtual machine platform you need to check this option also you need to check windows hypervisor platform scroll down one more time and you need to find the last option a windows subsystem for linux be sure to enable this option understand you need to enable hyper-v option virtual machine platform windows hypervisor platform windows subsystem for linux it is necessary to check all of these options you need to click ok after this we can proceed to the next stage we need to open our browser for the example i will use microsoft edge browser you can use another suitable browser for you so i will click on it and here you need to type next WSA builds GitHub press enter now we need to click on this website I will leave link in the video description click on it on this page we see next information run Windows subsystem for Android on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 PC using pre-built binaries with Google Play Store. Scroll down a little bit and let's check requirements to run Google Play Store. So as you can see you need to have Windows 11 or Windows 10. Here you can check the build of your Windows 11 or Windows 10 system. Actually, I have Windows 11 22H2 version, the latest version, and everything works without any problem. Let's talk more about the RAM requirements. As you can see, 4 or 6 gigabytes of RAM will be not enough. So definitely, you need to have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. It will be the minimum requirements. And if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, it will be the best solution. 
let's check processor requirements. So as you can see, it's recommend to have at least Intel Core of 8 generation. For some people, it could be a deal breaker. You possibly can try to install it on all the laptop or computer. In my case, I have Intel Core i5 processor of 8 generation, so everything will work without any issues or problem. I cannot say for sure that it will work perfectly on all the model, but you can give it a try if you wish. At least you need to have Intel Core i3 processor of 8 generation or Ryzen 3000 if you have AMD. It all depends on you. If we're talking about GPUs, we see next message, any compatible Intel, AMD or Nvidia GPU. GPU performance may vary depending on its compatibility with Windows subsystem for Android. At least if you have integrated video card, you need to have Intel HD graphics 500 30. Quite interesting information because you need to have solid state drive, you need to have an SSD drive. Unfortunately, if you have a hard drive, it doesn't meet the minimum requirements to run this application on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 system. Minimum storage requirements, you must have at least 10 GB free on the system drive C. NTFS only, it is very important. Windows subsystem for Android can only be installed on NTFS partition, not on XFAT partition. Of course, you need to enable virtualization and turn on all of these important options, but I already showed how to do this. After your laptop meet the minimum requirements, we need to scroll up a little bit. Now we need to select the suitable version for our system. So I have Windows 11 22H2 version, and definitely I will select the latest stable build. I recommend to download only the stable builds, but if you are enthusiast, you can give it a try and download the latest pre-release builds, it depends on you. So if you have Windows 10, you can download the latest stable build. And if you have Windows 11, you need to click here, Windows 11 x64. On this page, we need to scroll down a little bit. Please pay attention and take your time because you need to select the file which you want to download on your laptop or PC. I recommend to select the version without Amazon. Removed Amazon zip will be suitable for me. I will click on it. Downloading process begin. As you can see, it takes 886 megabytes of space. Okay, after downloading this file, we need to do some important steps. I will click on downloads, open location. Also, you can close the browser. Now we need to extract this file. If you have WinRAR, you can use WinRAR. It all depends on you. I will just select Extract All. Click here, Extract. Be patient and take your time. Very importantly, now you need to rename the extracted folder. So one more time, click on the rightmost button. I will select this feature in Windows 11 to rename. And you need to type next. WSA. Understood. WSA. After this, you need to delete this archive. So I will delete it. Move to trash. After all this process, we need to move this folder to suitable place. I recommend to move it to documents folder. So I will click on it and move it to documents. Good. Now I will select documents. And finally, we can open this folder. Double click. One more time, open it. Now you need to scroll down a little bit and you need to find a run bat. If you don't have run bat, nothing complicated. As you can see, I have only run, but I don't have run bat. And that's because I need to select view, select show, and I need to enable file name extensions. But actually, it doesn't matter if you see run bat, it is the same. Just be sure to select the correct file. So now we can run it, double click on it, more info, run anyway, select yes. This is very important stage, please don't interfere, don't press any button, be patient and take your time until the process will finish. Continue. As you can see, this is Windows subsystem for Android. We see the next message, finishing system update. Google Play just appear automatically, so we can go back select continue. We can close Google Play Store for now. In this window, you just need to press any key or close the windows. It all depends on you. So I will press some key. 
believe it or not, but we just installed Google Play Store on Windows 11. So we can click on search and type Play Store. As you can see, we have Play Store. Now we can click on it. Obviously, you need to have a Google account. Sign in. My friends, I hope it will be not complicated for you. You just need to enter your email and password. Then select next and then you will be able to install application and games from the Google Play Store. And finally, we are in Google Play Store. Now we can install application and games. On my smartphone, I got notification that it identified this application, Windows Subsystem, as Android 13. So yep, it is quite relevant because we have only Android 14 on Google Pixel smartphones. So let's install some game. I will try to install Apple Night. Yep, here we see Apple Night. I will click on it install i decided to install this game because to play this game we can use keyboard and it will be a good example can we use keyboard using windows subsystem for android i will click on play okay i will skip this moment friends i just turn off the sound because i don't want to have any copyright claim or copyright strike i hope you understand so first thing that I want to know, yes, we can use keyboard. As you can see, I just press enter. I can move my character left and right. Also, I can press the space bar. Can I hit something? As you can see, I can throw the apples and I can hit the enemy. Good. So yep, in my opinion, it is playable. I think it depends on the game which you want to play. Not all game is well optimized to play them using keyboard or gamepad. Sometimes it depends on the emulator. Sometimes it depends on developers because developers can optimize game and then it will be much easier to play them using keyboard or gamepad. I want to remind you one more time that we using Windows subsystem on Windows 11. This is not Android emulator. This is not Android OS like Prime OS or or something like that. I think on your laptop or PC it will work more smoothly because I run it in virtual machine plus I using screen recording program plus I allocated only 8 gigabyte of RAM. That's mean probably you can get much better result. Let's try to install YouTube. Click on it. Install. Maybe in the future I will make more videos on this topic. As you can see I installed YouTube. I will click open. YouTube work without any problem. Also, we can try to open it in full screen to make it more convenient. So definitely it works well. And if you wish, you can install it on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 system. Of course, if your laptop or PC meet the minimum requirements. If this video was useful for you, please like it. And I recommend watching this video on how to install Android emulator on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Bluestacks.